Hi everybody, it's uh, Andrew Grant here and uh, welcome to our site. Uh, I'm here with Julie Lewin. Say hi Julie. Hi Andrew. <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> um, so Julie, we just got off the phone and we've had a, a great talk uh, for our, our Internet Secrets uh, members this week and we talked about the seven common mistakes people make uh, when putting their sales letters together. And, and uh, can you tell us why, uh, how we come about uh, that subject today and why, why we were talking about it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I look after the help desk for Andrew and Daryl at Our Internet Secrets and part of my role is that I review the letters of our members before they get built into their website and I'm seeing the same mistakes over and over um, coming through the help desk. So Andrew and I decided that we'd um, share with everyone what those mistakes are and help them write their sales letter really awesomely in the first instance. Cool. So um, now for those of you who might not know, Julie also has her own business where she is a copywriter on the side and, uh, and she's uh, been you know, being paid to write copy for people for, for a while now and uh, so she's really an expert in her own right. And so some of the things that we uh, covered and some of the, the key points that we uh, looked at was um, uh, that we noticed that one of the things was that the people are leaving out the, um, or the the story or they're not paying enough attention to the story or the hook or the twist, the thing that really captures people's attention uh, in, in their sales letter and so on. Now we noticed um, that they're either missing it, it was too boring or they haven't really uh, placed it in the right part of their sales letter. The other thing was uh, subheads, wasn't it Julie, really, that you found that was a bit of a problem as well? Yeah, they're either missing them out completely or they're not writing subheads and they're, they're headlines that appear throughout the letter that bring out a point about a, a chunk of paragraph. So they're, they're not doing that or they're um, not making them relevant to, the, to the, the flow of the letter. Cool. So there was a number of other, another, a number of other key points that we went through. Uh, things like uh, you know, introductions were not people not introducing themselves properly and showing people why they should be listened to. Uh, they weren't formatting their paragraphs properly um, to make it really readable. Uh, and uh, benefits, they weren't put, pointing out the benefits, they were all facts, uh, all about facts, not benefits. Testimonials not being addressed properly and evidence uh, in their in their sales letters. Now, we spent an hour and a half basically covering these things and Julie did a fantastic job really pointing out exactly what it was that people needed to do on each of these subjects. Um, and we had some fantastic feedback from the people on the, on the call as well who thought it was great. So take a moment now, uh, if, if you're a member of Our Internet Secrets, go into the uh, members area and uh, go listen to the teleconference call on this subject. You really need to uh, listen to these things. These are gold. These are basically the things that make your sales that are work um, and make, therefore makes your site work and they're really the things that make people take action to buy your product. So listen to what the call was now and um, uh, we will uh, uh, hear, or you'll hear us on the call uh, on, on the site now. So go there now. So thanks Julie, appreciate the, uh, the effort in helping us out. Thanks Andrew. Bye. Bye.